Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like to have a makeup beauty and skincare. And for today's video, I can't wait to share with you guys my best of makeup of 2022. I'll share ko sa inyo yung mga makeup products that are truly my favorite, products that are reliable, products that I keep on reaching for, spark joy kung baga. So ito na rin ang aking 12 12 recommendations video and yeah, I just can't contain my excitement. In my channel, I'm trying to be more conscious with my makeup purchases, my consumption habits and all that. I've been doing project pants, shop my stash. I'm also in a year long replacement only no buys in order to curb my overspending habits that I have developed during my younger years. So then if you like these types of content then I hope that you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Nagpapasalamat lang talaga ako to anyone who stuck through me through this year full of adjustments. I mean, I wasn't really consistently putting YouTube content as I used to, but I really, really appreciate you guys, yung pag-support nyo sa akin, through my no-buy, sa pag-message sa aking Instagram, if I'm going through something, you guys are just the sweetest. I always look forward to your engagements, comments. Natutu nakakatuwa lang talaga to hear from you guys. I'd like to give back and say thank you by having this giveaway. So this giveaway, dalawa ang ating winners. Both winners will be receiving makeup and skincare mix sila. So this is yung first runner-up prize natin, hindi ito yung grand prize. So it will come in a pouch like this. And when you open inside, you'll find some samples of SE & Co. skincare. So ito yung kanilang cleansing butters. You'll get two sachets. You'll also find a sample of SE & Co. Phyto Skin Complex. I really like the skin mist. And then meron din tayong mga Choo Choo Beauty products. So you'll get their Skinny Brow Pencil. Meron silang Matte Bomb in the shade Smoky Mob. Ito yung aking favorite shade. And then another Matte Bomb in the shade Classic Coral. Strokes Beauty Lows Face Flash in the shade Invisible Glow. Very interesting tong product na to. So, I can't wait for you guys to try that on out. So, meron pa tayo isang product na ilalagay dito sa pouch na to, you guys. You have to watch this video. Kasi within my top picks ko siya. Ito naman yung ating grand prize. Nakaka-excite. Look at that. Inside, there's so many goodies. So, so many goodies. First thing that you'll be receiving is yung BLK Multitasking Color Stick in the shade Mimosa. You'll also be receiving products from Chuchu Beauty. Dalawang matte bombs. You'll get Smoky Mob again, yung favorite ko. And then Nude Affair, that shade. Yung Juicy Dew Tint nila in the shade of Plum Royal. <laughs> Plum Royal. Royal Plum. Sorry naman. Okay, Royal Plum. Meron din tayo Face Flash from Strokes Beauty Lab. This is yung Sparkling Champagne, my favorite shade from this line. Medyo marami naman tayong products from Issy & Co. Ito, Skin Complex face mist. Okay? Maganda to. Full size to, you guys. Their precision brow pen in the shade Warm Brown. Solar Balm in the natural finish. Shade Undone. Maganda tong shade na to. Para siyang neutral brown shade. Lip balm here. So, ito yung sa Mentholatum Therapy Lip Balm. Of course, dapat kissable lip style this December. Brow Pencil from Ulta Beauty. So, now, this is a set that I'm excited for you guys to try out. Ito yung Hada Labo. It's one of the my favorite skincare brands. So, meron silang parang trial set dito for normal to dry skin. But I feel like people with oily skin types could also benefit from this one. So, meron kang hydrating face wash, hydrating lotion, tapos yung kanilang hydrating light cream. So, ayan. Three-step routine to, you guys. Lastly, meron tayong mga concealers from Revlon, the shade Chestnut, and si Creme Brulee. So, each of these prizes will also be receiving another item that I will mention within this video. So, if you want to find that out, you should watch the entire video. Kasi, I... I it's something that really blew me away. So, Sana you would like that too. Oh, diba? Super bonga. So, ayun yung mapapalanunan nyo, you guys. Two of you guys will be the winners. The mechanics will be down below and super, super easy lang talaga mag-apply. All you have to do is comment on this video. What's your favorite makeup or skincare find this year? Plus, add the carrot stick emoji. Para malaman ko kung sino sa inyo dun sa mga nag-comment. Those who want to enter this giveaway. Second is to subscribe to my channel. 
And make sure that your subscriptions are public para makita ko and ma-verify ko if you are subscribed to me. Third is to follow me on my Instagram account. It's through Instagram kung saan ko kinokontakt yung winners. Dun ko rin na-announce. So, I hope that you follow me there. Next is to answer lang a very, very short Google form para ma-match ko ang inyong YouTube user account and then yung inyong Instagram handle. How I choose the winners kasi is through a YouTube random comment picker. So I need to match the winning comment with its Instagram handle para dun ko kayo kukontakt. This giveaway is only open to people with Filipino residents. Nisha open worldwide. I will shoulder the shipping, don't worry. And magkaklose ang ating giveaway until December 18, 11.59pm. So madaling araw ko na i-announce yung aking giveaway winner. Kung sino man yung napili kong winners will be contacted and given 24 hours to respond their addresses else I would have to pick another winner. So that is it. I hope that you enjoy and wag enter kayo dito. Just, you know, follow those simple steps. This video is already long as it is by telling you guys the giveaway. But you will find down below yung timestamps defined by categories of makeup. I over ko lahat ng mga makeup categories that I use personally in my makeup routine. There's a huge chance na na-review ko na yung mga makeup products ko dito or talked about it in my channel in one video or two videos or so. If you want to know more about my thoughts dun sa kanila, how I tested it, first impressions, ganon, I will leave it down in the comment section or you can search it sa aking channel. When you go through my channel homepage, makikita mo parang may search box doon sa upper right corner. Type nyo lang yung product na you want to look for, you want to know more details about, and done. Lalabas yung mga videos where I mentioned that product. So, ayon, without further ado, let's begin with the first step. Priming my face. So, this is the step before applying yung aking foundation. And usually kasi, puro skincare lang ang ginagamit ko. But until recently, nag apply na ako ng another product before my foundation. And that is the illuminators. I'm not really sure kasi kung ano yung step na tatawagin ko dito, illuminators, mix-ins, um, illuminating primers, not so sure. Let's be honest, there are only two products na pinapipilian ko within this category. It's either this Issy & Co one or Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. I've already compared them in a video. Pero ito kasi yung winner for me. Later in the shade Ray. I also like Halo, but I feel like Ray would work well for me. If you're interested to know more about that, I'll link it down below. I like to use it for my face. Parang primer siya. Illuminating primer. Just to give my face that soft, illuminated look. Very radiant look lang. I, I like the fact that it has so many uses. And I feel like in every use case na pwede mo siyang gamitin, it excels. Parang hindi ko na kailangan ng dewy foundation because I could just use this underneath my matte foundations and ayun na, meron akong dewy foundation look. And I think that saves me money. Sobrang lightweight man ito, easy to blend. Gusto ng gusto ko yung kanyang performance. Like even now, I'm wearing it with a matte medium to full foundation, high-end. Siyempre may highlighter na ako in all, but look at how my skin in my forehead doesn't appear flat. Kahit na matte siya supposedly because I put matte foundation on top, it still shows through. My powder na ako, ayan pa rin siya, diba? So, I just really like this so much. Now, let's go into foundation slash skin tints. So, for skin tint, I think you guys already know kung sino yung winner ko. And that is yung Vice Cosmetics Blurfection Skin Tint. Nadethrone niya na yung Essie and Co's Active Skin Tint for me for reasons that I have already shared sa aking YouTube channel. So, ililink ko na lang yung video na yun down below. Parang lahat ng gusto ko sa skin tint na bibigay niya yung lightweight, yung just the right amount of coverage. Yung kanyang shade match is also really, really good for me. How it feels in the skin, how it makes my skin feel throughout the day. Gusto ko na kahit skin tint siya, it's also long wearing. Parang nililook forward ko nang gamitin to all the time, especially when I'm traveling or kung kailan kailangan ko ng quick makeup look. Ito yung product na i-reach for ko, definitely. And sobrang gusto ko rin yung kanyang price point. Ang dami ko lang sinasabi, no? It's, it feels like it's too good to be true, pero uh, it just really blew me away. So that is skin tint. Next 
category naman na pag-uusapan natin is medium to full coverage. Now, these are the products na gusto ko talaga super long wearing. Maganda yung kanyang coverage. Hindi siya nagbe-break down when I have it on my face. Kahit na super tagal na, kahit na nag-mask ako. Now, I have two products to mention. One local and then one high-end. So, let's start first yung aking local. Kasi this one is also new to me and na-replace yun na yung old favorite ko. This is yung Endless G Dream Focus Weightless foundation ng Vice Cosmetics. I have to tell you guys, na sobrang ganda nito sa aking skin. Like, medium to full coverage siya. And the fact that it's a matte formula, nagustuhan ko siya. I'm someone who really likes to look like a glazed donut. But for this, for some reason, yung pagkamat niya, sobrang bet na bet ko. Now, yung only con for me dito is yung kanilang shade match. Kasi I feel like it's a little lacking pa. The shade like medium 2 is not that bad sa akin. Now, for you to find your shade, I highly, highly recommend that you check your shade dun sa Vice Cosmetics na kiosk. You swatch yun talaga yun. How the shade would change over time because this does change yung kanyang shade sa akin. Um, otherwise, formula, price point, yung packaging niya is really, really good. Vice Cosmetics seems to be killing it this year for me. For the high-end version, this is an old favorite. Ito yung aking NARS Natural Longwear Foundation. It's a foundation that I'm wearing right now. Foundation looks matte, but with the illuminator on, ah, ang ganda-ganda sobra. Katagal ko na tong Chenier sa inyo last year. Again, I like yung kanyang matte finish. Hindi siya yung matte na nagmumukhang flat. Yung kanyang shade match to me may be improved. Pero so far, si Santa Fe is looking okay naman sa akin. Like, it's the same depth. Yung undertone lang medyo nag-iba. But I feel like it still works. Now, ito talaga is a foundation that I could rely on whenever I want to look my best. As in talaga yung kailangan sobrang gana ng makeup ko. There's gonna be a lot of pictures. This is the foundation that I use during my... Essie and Co. Uh, Club Essie event. Yeah, hindi na hulas yung makeup. Kahit na sobrang dugit na dugit tao sa sarili ko kasi sobrang pawis. Ang daming pawis na involved. Product just never really fails me. Even the coverage. Like, look at the coverage. My skin is absolutely not the best right now. Ang dami kong breakouts. My skin is so uneven. And this one somehow was able to cover it all. Like, make me feel a little bit more confident about my skin. And... It just looks so good. It just really looks so good. Concealers. Let's talk about concealers. Essie Co. Active Concealers is still my favorite, but it's even better this year. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about it. Super love. It's blendability. Yung kanyang finish sa aking skin. Parang it was able to deliver full coverage. And konting konti lang talaga yung amount that I need for my under eyes and for my blemishes. Like kon isang dot lang. Literal isang dot lang. It can already do so much for you. Whenever I use this, parang, oh my gosh, parang, I can't believe that this is local. This is Filipino brand. Like, parang na kong thoughts whenever I use this. Like, the reason why that this is better is because they released their peach undertone concealers, which is like a peach corrector plus your concealer shade in one. So it not only color corrects my blue undertones sa aking under eyes, but also brighten it as well, which is something that I really like. Just makes things easier for me. And I'm still amazed how magical this tube is. Like, yung effect niya talaga is like, oh my gosh, I can't stop talking about it. So, the skin tone shade that I have is CFO2. This is what I use for spot concealing. I'm not wearing it right now because maganda na yung itsura ng aking face with just the foundation alone. Active concealer in the shade SD1 is also really nice. I find that this is super blendable and maganda rin yung shade match na sa akin. I'm just not using it now because I prefer another product over this one. So I'm just gonna tell you guys more about it bakit hindi ko to na it. But this is also good. So ayun, ang good job is si Enko. I didn't think that the best will become better. Tao English ko. Moving on, the next step are powders. Mas marami akong honorable mention than yung topic ko. Forever favorite and it's now empty. So this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's just in this container kasi gusto ko yung may net doon sa kanyang packaging. It just makes it less messy, you know? I haven't found a powder quite like this. Ah, basta. Look, look at yung before and after. I've been using this powder for so 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 long already. And I haven't replaced it at all. It still remains my top one, my best one. 
it never fails me. Like, ang ganda talaga ng itsura ng aking makeup, my skin. Like, sobrang skin-like siya. It's more skin-like when I have the powder on, you know. Parati na lang my spark of joy. It's something that I am missing right now and I feel quite sad na naubos na siya kasi hindi ko pa siya marireplace until the year ends. It's kind of up there kasi I think mga 2,000 pesos siya, if I'm not mistaken. Per 30 grams naman. And for how long that I use this, kung gaano katagal ko siyang inubos, feel ko worth it naman yun. For me ha, for my circumstances and my needs and my wants, to me, worth it siya. I can't wait to repurchase it next year. I'm so looking forward to that moment. The Laura Mercier is a powder that I really, really like for my dry skin. But marami kasi ako nakukuhang questions about powders for oily skin types. This is some things that I've tried na feel ko would probably work for oily skin types. The first one is yung Clush Flame Dream Filter. I have it in the shade Cloud kasi yun yung preference ko. Yung Silk, yung parang banana shade nila yung yellow. And they also have another shade called Tool, yung parang pink powder nila. Now this powder is finely milled and medyo hard siyang press. So kailangan mo talaga siyang gamitin with a fluffy brush in my opinion para ma-disperse mo yung powder all over your face. If you did use a more compact brush, it would look a little cakey on you. May ganun siyang tendency sa akin for my dry skin hand. I'm not sure what the effect will be for you guys if you have oily skin. Pero ito kasi is the powder that, alam mo yun, nilagay ka siya sa aking under eyes and for my face. And up until the end of the day, it would still have that silky effect sa aking face na parang dry siya. It's not moist, it's not tacky or anything like that. It just feels like powder pa rin on my skin. Kaya, and for that reason, feel ko mag work siya for oily skin types. Another thing is tong Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Fast Set and Bake Powder. This one you can get from Beauty M&L. And medyo malaki din yung amount ng pro product na to, no? 24 grams for this much. Now, this powder is something na ginagamit ko on times when I really want to look my best. Now, ginagamit ko to Right? And then I put another layer of powder using the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass on areas where I tend to be oily, like for my T-zone, my nose area, kung saan usually natatanggal yung makeup ko, and then also on my chin. And that way, mas maganda yung insure ng aking makeup. It just prevents it from transferring, slipping, and sliding throughout the day as my face gets oilier. Parang this one is really absorbent in my opinion, kaya maybe you would like this. So ito yung aking recommendations for oily skin type. Let's go into the cheeks now. Let's start first with sculpting products, mga contour bronzer, ganon. Medyo marami tayong contour slash bronzer products na nilabas from local brands, mga Filipino brands. Pero ito talaga yung nangingibabaw sa akin. It's a Strokes Beauty Love Face Sculpt in the shade Peanut. There's no color like this sa aking collection. It just looks so, so, so good. Sobrang ganda ng kanyang formula. Super easy to use. Very, very blendable with just a few strokes. Parang it blends into my skin. Like, it looks so natural. It makes my face sculpted in just seconds. It's that good. The reason why this is on top instead of yung Is He and Co. Concealer is because yung kanyang ease of use. With my experience kasi, I noticed that I achieve the results that I want with this with less steps. This is my honorable mention. Sobrang ganda. Like, it's just the perfect shade of cool. It doesn't look ashy, muddy, anything like that. Ang ganda lang talaga ng how it was able to define my, you know, facial features with just a few swipes and a few, you know, blending lang. Ah, ang bilis. Ang ganda. Let's talk about bronzing. And syempre yung bronzing, old product tayo. And you guys guessed it. This is my Revlon Skin Lights. Prismatic bronzer. I really tried my best to just mention products that you can buy. Pa, I'm not sure if this is still available offline, but I'm having trouble finding it online. Hopefully, you can find this offline because it's so beautiful. And you can see, naman, this product is in my project pan and it's so bugbug sarado niya talaga sa akin. I've used this plenty of times this year and hanggang ngayon. Hindi pa rin ako nagsasawa sa kanya. It still brings me joy. I still enjoy using this. Parati ko nililook forward to gamitin sa aking routine. The fact that it has a little bit of shimmers, may konting sheen na siya nabibigay sa aking cheeks, hindi nagmumukhang unnatural yung aking 
bronzer slash contour whenever I use this. It's just a really nice bronzer and I'm so sad that I'm getting so hard to find. Tapos feel ko ma discontinue na siya eventually. So I just need to mention this one last time before siya completely ma discontinue. So for blush, I want you to pause and then tell me what it is. Like have a guess lang talaga. Have a wild guess of what it is. Feel ko kasi medyo obvious na siya. My favorite blush is this one. Yung Pixie X Hello Kitty. Yung kanilang glowy powder in the shade Friendly Blush. This is absolutely beautiful. As in, instant, instant favorite siya agad. Yung type ko kasi sa blush is this parang subtle color lang sa aking cheeks. Very natural looking. Something that would look good on different looks. Gusto ko rin yung glowy. So all the things that I like are in here. Sobrang jackpot. Whenever I apply this blush, parang sobrang gandang ganda ako sa sarili ko. Tapos meron din siyang coating shimmers that doesn't emphasize my skin texture. Very very fine lang siya. Lit from within that type of glow. I can get away without any highlighter na. You can see it in the clip that I'm showing you right now. Look at that! Like look at that! There's something magical about it na it brings life to my face in the most natural way. My blush but better by on. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have received this in PR kasi I wouldn't have known na ganun pala siya kaganda, you know. Honorable mentions, these are more affordable blushes naman sa aking collection. Vice Cosmetics multi ganda. One and done stick in the shade Pinky Promise. When I was planning for this video, I was a panic now because Shocks is this going to be discontinued? Because it's been out of stock for a long time. So much good in this shade. If you could see it, it's just this natural looking blush, and then it just blends so beautifully. A blush that looks good on any look, any skin tone. Feel ko. The fact that it's matte is a really nice touch to yung kanyang formulation because with that type of finish, mas matagal siyang mag-fade sa aking face. And you know naman, blushes tend to fade agad-agad sa akin. So, that level of detail is something that I really appreciate about it. When it comes to cream products, mas refer ko talaga yung mga ritong type of sticks kasi I feel like it's much easier to use as compared to creams in a pan. I'm just so happy that it's available again. It really is lightweight. It's versatile. From my experience, itong multi-ganda sticks is truly multi-ganda kasi it's really nice as well as a lip product and for your eyes, you can do that with this one. Hindi siya yung type of formula na maganda lang for blush pero okay lang sa lips. Alam mo yun, maganda siya sa lahat. Second runner-up is this one from Essie and Co. And ito yung kanilang uh, cream cheek blush. Now, this is fairly recent lang. They have 10 shades. Maganda yung kanilang shade selection, you guys. I think that it's quite versatile din and very diverse yung kanilang shade range. Meron silang shades for neutrals, to, for people who like the neutrals. And meron din silang mga adventurous shades, di ba? Yung mga kakaibang shades. Maganda din yung kanyang formula in the cream. It feels... Very luxurious yung kanyang formula actually. It's lightweight, it has this cream to nothing sort of formula. Maganda rin yung kanyang longevity sa akin. I like how this blends. You can achieve a very natural look with this blush or pwede rin mas intense by building it up. That's also possible. Um, I like that it has a mirror in it kasi it's very convenient. Anyway, the reason why honorable mention siya and hindi siya yung first choice ko sa honorable mention. For cream products, I find that I reach for mga stick formulas more as compared to creams in a pan. That's why this one is a little lower than yung Vice Cosmetics. Like, I really don't like yung kanyang packaging kasi medyo pasmado ako. So, madaling kumapit yung dumi sa kanya. Nagmumukha siyang dugyot. Another reason is the confusion that this one can give. Same packaging siya with the cream cheek bronzer. So, there's no way for you to find out what shade you're holding unless you just read the thing at the back. So, hindi mo siya automatically malalaman na, ah, oh, okay, ito yung pink blush. You have to really open it pa. So, medyo minus points yun for me, kaya it's here. Now, let's talk highlighter. I'm so sorry, but medyo high-end yung aking mga picks this year. I have been enjoying for the most part of the year itong Lorac face palette ko. And this is discontinued. Dito ko lang talaga truly na-enjoy yung highlighter na subtle, lit from within. Yun yung taste ko this year. Yun yung napansin ko this year. So, sobrang na-enjoy ko itong highlighter na to. Na-hit pan ko lang siya. Hindi ako nagsawa sa kanya. Finely milled shivers lang. Nothing chunky, nothing too flashy, or masyadong reflective. Meron naman ako nahanap na highlighter sa aking collection na nag-exist na pala, but 
na mas na appreciate ko because of using this one that is still available and that is yung NARS Fort de France um, highlighter. I really like this highlighter because of the quality and how similar it is with yung Lorac face palette ko. Para siyang may illusion of having smooth skin. Just if her skin is really smooth, like sobrang kinis talaga, wala masyadong blemishes and all, and very glass like yung kanyang reflection. This year, sobrang hindi ganun kaganda yung aking skin. Somehow it's acting up, and with highlighters like this, naganito yung kanyang shimmers, yung kanyang reflection, it just has that same effect. Na parang feel ko I have smooth skin. So ito yung topic ko for this year. Just these two. This one is already discontinued, sadly, but I found something that's available. So a cheaper alternative for that, but this one has something interesting about it. Itong ZC Cosmetics Highlight Press Powder in the shade H07. Sobrang ganda na itong highlighter na to. I mean, look at how flashy that is. Pero once it's blended into the skin, it looks so skin-like. Yung kanyang base of champagne, it just blends so naturally on my skin. Interesting din yung kanyang texture kasi meron siyang somehow chunky shimmers in it. If you look at it closely, how the light hits it, diba? Parang mukhang very intimidating yung itsura niya. Parang mukha siyang flashy. But once I place this on my skin, just look at how that reflects. And I feel the subtleties of yung kanyang reflection makes it look like it's so sophisticated. It just makes my skin look wet without being too flashy. Parang ganun. Pwede rin to for highlighter dito sa aking eyes. There's just something about subtle shimmers that I really like this year. Kaya, yeah, I'm really digging this highlighter. I reapplied my lips kasi kanina pa akong salita ng salita. But anyway, let's talk about brows next. Now, there's something that I noticed sa aking makeup style this year. I don't really want to put too much work when I apply my makeup kahit na marami pa rin akong effort nilalagay. More than a regular person. But you know what I mean? Like, gusto ko talaga yung madaling looks lang. This year, I relied heavily on brow mascaras. I have three brow mascaras right now. One from Vice, Strokes, and then ESC Co. Let's rank it lang. So this one, the ESC Co. Brow Refiner has been an absolute favorite mine for so long. This one gives volume to my brows, shapes my brows, and fills in my sparse areas lalo na dito sa tail. The reason why it's last place dito sa brow mascaras na napili ko is because this shade that I have right now is taupe. It's not it's a little too dark for me. I think it works for me best nung natural hair color ko, yung dati kong hair color. Mas pinipili ko ang neutral, cooler sort of browns, mas light ng konti. Second place naman is itong Strokes Beauty Lab Brow Colorist Neutral Brown. The shade match is really, really good for me. Nagustuhan ko rin to. Especially when my hair dyed in this ashy color na sobrang bumagay pa to sa akin. It holds my brows a little bit into shape. This is the brow mascara that I ask my makeup artist to put on my eyebrows during my wedding day. So, sobrang special na sa akin. The reason why it's here second place because nag-change na nga yung kanyang brush. I don't like the newer brush now. It's a little stiffer. Gusto ko to. Hindi siya masakit sa aking brows. And also yung kanyang price point. It's the most expensive out of the three brow mascaras that I'm talking about. Kaya nandito lang siya sa second place. The third place was able to give me everything that I need of volumizing. It was able to hold my brows into shape as well. Super easy. And the best part is yung kanyang shade match. The shade Ash Brown is super, super nice sa akin. Another reason that I like this is yung kanyang pigmentation. It's not super dark. Hindi ma-overwhelm yung aking brows agad. Kahit na nakailang dikit na ako sa aking eyebrows, it still looks so nice sa akin. And it's perfect in every way. So if there's only one brow mascara that I would keep among all three, it's this one. For eyeshadows, I used to like super loud colors and medyo intricate, sobrang daming shades and all during my busiest months of this year. I've always been reaching for quick and easy looks. This is the year that I was able to appreciate neutral looks on me. I, yeah, I know, right? Like, who is she? So the first product that I'd be mentioning dito sa eyeshadow category is something that was my best friend during busiest times nga na yon, And that is itong Strokes Beauty Labs 
I Paint Duos. Specifically, itong tatlong shades na to. Plum Prism, Desert Haze, Truffle Dazzle. Between the two sides that it has here, yung matte side niya and yung shimmer side, mas prefer ko yung kanyang matte. I feel like it's much easier to work with, madaling i-blend. I'm wearing si Desert Flare all over my lids right now. Yung kanyang matte side, ginamit ko siya as a eyeshadow base. Like, kahit na gamitin ko lang yung matte side niya, just blend it all over my eyes. Ayan, tapos na ako. Ay Kaya, when I say it's easy, I really mean that it's easy. Ganun na talaga ako katapad. Minsan, one eyeshadow lang yung ginagawa ko. Now, yung kanyang shimmers is a little more tricky to use kasi it has a tendency to crease. So, ginagamit ko na siya dito sa aking inner corner tsaka aking lower lash line where it doesn't have to deal with eyelids folding. I just avoid it on that area. I was able to appreciate it naman. So, nagpagkailangan like, ko lang ng quick easy looks. Ito talaga yung new reach for ko. Let's talk more about liquid eyeshadows. Now, this is something that I wore during my wedding. Kaya sobrang sobrang special itong product na to sa akin. This is Hyper Games Moonshine in the shade Waltz. I wore this during my reception. I wanted to look like myself. That's what I told my makeup artist and she was so game. Because I asked for a green smoky eyeshadow. And ito yung shimmers that I asked her to put on my lids. This is what I like. I really like multi-chromes. I like shades like this. I like green. I like pink. I'm wearing it on my lower lash line right now. I don't think that you could see yung shift niya, pero it's just such a wonderful product. I really, really like this. Nakaubos ako ng isang tube nito in another shade, pero si Waltz yung absolute favorite ko. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. Yung pinaka most used kong palette this year is this one, yung Laura Rock Pro 2 palette. I don't know where else you could find this. I think it's available overseas. I've used this plenty of times na nakahit pa na ako sa dalawang pans and sobrang na-enjoy ko yung makeup looks ko. Ito yung palette na sisihin nyo kung bakit ako parati naging neutral eyeshadows. Meron din akong emotional attachment with this one kasi it, this one was gifted to me by my boyfriend. It's first high-end kong palette sa aking collection. But this is something that it's also available pa na also top favorite ko. It's the Kaleidos Flower Punk Palette. Like, I mean, look at that! Yung packaging pa lang, it has my name all over it. What more pa yung shades niya sa loob, o, ba? Pink, green, and this parang murky green shade. I mean, I like all these shades here. I like the looks that I've been doing here. Ito yung parati ko nire-reach for na eyeshadow palette na colorful, ano, during my wedding planning day. Ang ganda rin kasi ng shimmers neto sa aking eyes. It's so high shine. Ang ganda rin yung kanyang shifts. I'm wearing... Um, the pink shades dito sa aking eyes right now. This just makes me so happy. I remember how long I waited to buy this product. Feeling ko yung eyeshadow palettes ko sa aking collection are so 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 jealous of this palette kasi this one really had my attention. I'm contemplating whether or not to include this palette sa aking eyeshadow picks kasi medyo recent lang siya na favorite. So, ito yung ZC Cosmetics, the British Museum na palette. Now, sobrang na-blow away ako talaga dito sa palette na to. Like, I'm not expecting much from it. There's just these shades kasi that made this palette stand out for me. And that is yung kanilang tatlong glitters dito. Sobrang ganda lang talaga. With this glitter alone, I can't wait to just put it all over my eyes. So reflective, it just makes my eyes so interesting. I like how compact and small it is and the fact that it's also affordable. You know, hindi siya ganun ka-expensive and maganda rin yung kanyang itsura sa akin. Medyo neutral leaning na peachy tones yung kanyang looks na mabibigay. That's the only con that I could give here. Pero I think that the shimmer eyeshadow alone was able to make up for it. Now, okay, this is the next product that I'm so, so, so happy that came to my life. I'm just so happy na ito yung product na ibibigay ko dun sa aking giveaway prize. Oh, I'm really excited to know about it. Feeling ko malalaman yun na because of the timestamp, but it's the... Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Oh my God! As in, I've been trying to find the perfect mascara that would give me length, that would give me volume, that would also give me that lift sa aking lashes. I really like this mascara. I mean, look at it right now. Look at my lashes! I mean, kailangan ko ba ng falsies dyan? Hindi ko na kailangan. Answered prayer to you guys. I mean, ang tagal-tagal ko nang naghahanap ng mascara that would give me 
whatever I need and especially yung lift. Yung lift talaga yung hinahanap ko. I like its performance the entire day. Hindi siya nagpa-flake sa akin. Hindi siya nagsa-smudge sa akin even though I have watery eyes. Tapos pag tinatanggal ko to every night, hindi ako nahihirapan. Like cleansing oil lang ang gamit ko. A little rubbing. Tapos babad ko lang ng konti wash off with water. Ayun, matatanggal na siya, majority of it. This mascara is just absolutely amazing. It just made me so happy na nahanap ko na ito kasi ang tagal-tagal ko nang hinahanap. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So, each of the winners, you will receive one tube of Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Okay, medyo malapit na tayong matapos. We have three more products to go. I guess we just have to go through eyeliners very quickly. You guys know that I like my eyeliners for my look. Puro gel liner yung pag-uusapan natin kasi yun yung parati kong ginagamit na type of eyeliner, yung formula na eyeliner. And I always use them for my lower lash line, sa aking upper waterline for tight lining. So, ayun yung aking isa-share. So, this one, itong Mermaid Beauty Dual Chrome Eyeliners. Once this came, sa akin in PR, sobrang hindi ko na ginamit yung other gel eyeliners ko. As in, ito lang parate. Kasi, grabe, it's so simple to use. I feel like these eyeliners were made for me. You know how much I like shimmers. You know how much I like dual chromes, multi chromes. These ones are just perfect. Absolutely perfect for me. Kahit na plain bronzer lang yung gamit ko sa aking eyes. Tapos itong eyeliner. I felt like, you know, I put a little bit of effort na sa aking look. I felt like pinag-isipan siya. Alam mo yun, kahit na hindi naman talaga. Ang dami na itong shades. I think there are 10. I'm gonna show you some swatches here so that you could see everything yung kanyang shades. Sobrang underrated na ito. I haven't heard anyone talk about these. Sana hindi sila ma-discontinue because I really look forward to using them all the time. Yung mga other eyeliners ko na I raved about last year as in talagang wala. Nakalimutan ko sila. Ito na lang parating yung ginagamit. For tight lining, it's the same eyeliner. Strokes Beauty Lab Slick Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black. Maganda yung kanyang formula because it doesn't transfer all over my lower lash line. Meron kasi akong eyeliner that I used to like before, pero I felt like it was fading sa akin. Tapos parang nakikita ko na minsan na may parang panda eyes na ako dito. This eyeliner from Strokes Beauty Lab doesn't do that. It, it's in fact long lasting. Even when I was about to remove my makeup, I still see the eyeliner near my lashes. Nandun pa rin siya. Hanging on to dear life. Pero nandun pa rin siya. Really, really reliable. In case you're looking for liquid eyeliners, these are my recommendations. Ito yung Strokes Beauty Lab Wing Flick Eyeliner. Again, kahit na one year na to sa aking collection, you guys, it doesn't dry out. I feel like the brush is really thick really precise. Quite easy to use yung kanyang brush tip. Very, very black yung kanyang eyeliner. So, if you like black liquid eyeliners, then I would recommend Strokes Beauty Lab for you. I always like my eyeliners whenever I use this. And if you plan to go a little more colorful, then maybe you would want to check out Vice Cosmetics Glide and Glow, Glow Shimmer Liners. I, I like all the three eyeliners sa kanila. This one is a little more shimmery. And maganda rin yung kanyang brush tip. Really nice strokes as well. Really thin strokes. Maganda rin yung kanyang performance last all day on me. Hindi ko lang siya minention agad-agad dito sa category na to because minsan ko lang to ginagamit. Mas ginagamit ko talaga ang gel eyeliners. Pro the lip product that I'm wearing on my lips right now, of course, will be on my absolute favorite. Revlon Super Luster Shine Lipstick. This one is fantastic. Sobrang juicy, sobrang glossy, so buttery yung kanyang formula. Yung kanyang pigmentation is not super opaque, pero alam mo, opaque enough to hide yung unevenness ng aking natural lip color. Looks so good, and grabe guys, nung una kong swipe neto, nung una kong nareceive to NPR, after first swipe, sobrang na-in love na talaga ako. Sinabi ko na dun sa video na to when I was reviewing it, dun sa aking update video, I can't wait to buy more of this shade after my no buy. And I still feel the same way about this. Next product I chose because of its practicality and sometimes nagtumitira to sa aking purse. It's this Choo Choo Beauty Lip Stacks. Noon nilabas nila to, guys, sobrang impressed na impressed talaga ako sa kanyang design and I like 
yung options that it gives in just one convenient stick. I mean, I feel ko medyo standard na yung konyong formula. It's something that I expect. There's really nothing special about it that I could pick out. Uh, but parati ko tong nilalagay sa akin bag just because of its options. You just make my custom lip stacks. Like right now, I have two Frankenstein lip stacks. Ilagay mo lang sa bag mo. You have three lipsticks, four lipsticks at most, di ba? Isn't that convenient? O kung gusto ko ng mas intense na lip product, take my makeup from day to night, then I just choose the more intense color. If I want to go for something softer, more neutral, then I just choose the neutral shade. Kung gusto ko ng kwating moisturization sa aking lips, I'll just choose this. My lip balm siya. Now for liquid lipstick, let's go for something a little older na sa aking collection, but I still love this. Okay, Penny from Dear Self Beauty. Gosh, I love this shade. I love this product so much. It really reminds me of yung Ofra Liquid Lipstick. I can't imagine na meron tayong affordable option that is somewhat equivalent to Ofra. And this shade, Penny, is just the beautiful, most natural lip color for me. This is my lips but better the shade. I like it yung kanyang matte formula. Hindi rin siya uncomfortable for my dry lips. Feeling when you're reunited with an old friend of yours from high school and you guys shared happy memories. You, that happy feeling, yung parang nostalgia. That is something that I felt when I reached for this one time during, you know, some random makeup playtime na nagsha-shop my stash nang ako. This one I purchased myself a year ago, maybe even more than a year ago. It smells okay pa rin naman. It doesn't look like it's separating from the tube, so I guess it's still okay. It's still alive and it's still my favorite. Let's go for balmy products, yung parang lipstick bullet things. So, I have here yung Clash Flame Lip Muse. Na mention ko na to dun sa aking updated review na hindi ko na expect na nagustuhan ko to until I found out that the lip muse shades are in my purse. So, si Corset, si Pom, tsaka si Bellini. Now I have si Bellini here and kahit na recently ko siya nakuha, makikita mo yung how much use I have there. Always like how this one feels on the hand. Sturdy yung packaging niya. It just gives the impression na very well made itong product na to. Formula niya is also great. Just this satiny looking lip product sa aking lips. Gives the right amount of moisture. Feels smooth on the lips as well. Very pleasurable lang to use and that's why it's here. Ang dami ko lang talagang good things to say about it. I can't wait to know more about their SPF rating in the future. Gusto ko makita that they expand the shade range of this one kasi maganda yung kanyang lip use. Now I'm putting these two products in multi-use kasi yun naman talaga yung product na to. I'm not really sure where to put this at all. My favorite multi-use products is itong Get Ready With Me. Ganda, <laughs> pareho silang Get Ready With Me. Milk Tint. I have it in the shade Buttercream now. Meron ako mga favorite shades. May, may swatch video din ako that I'm gonna link down below na lang in case you're curious. Uh, this one is my favorite for multi-use. Pero actually, lip product ko na to eh. Maybe I shouldn't put it in the multi-use. Anyway, multi-use slash lip product ito yung favorite ko. Maganda yung formula ng Get Ready Cosmetics Milk Tints. I like its shade range as well. It's just very diverse in my opinion. And feel ko in the future, they will also release more products, more shades here. Ang ganda yung kanyang pigmentation, blendability, yung kanyang finish, yung kanyang performance as well. Hindi siyang basta-bastang natatanggal. I specifically like this for blush dun sa kanyang old packaging but now in the new packaging with the doe foot applicator mas prefer ko siya sa lip products so yeah maybe dapat in-include ko siya sa lip products I, could, I still use this for blush anyway so fine multi-use na lang siya I can't seem to make up my mind about it okay the next get ready for product is itong kanilang radiance tint in the shade milk Sobrang nagamit ko to kasi wala ako masyadong shade adjuster. Especially for my foundations, dun ko to mostly ginagamit. Meron kasi akong high-end na foundation here that was a little dark for me and ayoko siyang i-giveaway kasi I don't know when I'll be able to purchase a product like that. This one though was able to lighten yung shade a little bit with just one dot. Like, literally one dot lang siya. Ayun, umokin na yung shade match niya sa akin. Gusto ko rin to gamitin as an eyeshadow base to make 
pastel eyeshadows pop so that's why it's here multi-use siya having this one in my collection feel ko mas lumaki pa yung possibilities kasi i could also add this with other you know cream products lip products that they're not necessarily complexion products but color cosmetics last category to go and promise mabilis na lang to setting sprays slash fixing sprays basically facial mists that have properties that could make your makeup last longer less prone to rubbing and all of that favorite setting mist let's go this is yung vice cosmetics carry boom boom pa mist this was also in my best of beauty of 2021 last year and right now it's still here meron siyang mga ingredients dito that is able to keep my oils at bay and whenever I do my wear test, parati ko nanonotice kasi na natatanggal yung makeup ko dito sa aking ilong, sa chin. Parati na lang siyang nagiging oily. And because nagiging oily siya, mas nagra-rub off siya. Nagta-transfer siya sa mask and all of that. Parang ito yung unang part na nag-wear off yung makeup. And whenever I'm wearing this, nanonotice ko talaga na itong nose area ko was able to hold on for a little longer. Nag-fade pa rin siya, don't get me wrong. Pero mukha siyang maganda, mukha siyang okay. And nanonotice ko na may makeup pa sa ilong ko. So that's why it's here. The only con is yung kanyang sprayer. It's not the best one out there. Pero if I were to purchase it again, then ididikan ko na lang. Like, ililipat ko yung product from here to the container that has a better mist. And I think yun yung workaround na may isip ko. I think that for the price point that it has, around 400 pesos, 300 pesos for 75 ml, I think okay na yung kanyang price point with its formula and all. It really does what it says. It does make my makeup last longer. Hindi rin sticky yung feeling ng aking face. And adequate din yung kanyang oil control. Like, I could really notice it. It's another Filipino brand and this is something exciting. So, ito yung ganyan with me cosmetics. Uh, life proof fixing spray. Okay, I haven't really talked about this product at all sa aking collection. In fact, ito yung first time na may mention ko siya at all dito sa aking channel. And yeah, full review na siya agad, pero just a brief review, I guess. This one does what it's claim. I really like that it has multiple ingredients here that can make my makeup last longer. Yung kanilang acrylates, or yeah, acrylates ata yung tawag nila doon. This one doesn't dry my skin out. I think that it was able to make my makeup last longer. It's less prone to transfers. Nag-fade siya, pero hindi siya obvious na nag-fade. Alam mo yun. Kailangan mong sobrang lapit para makita mo yung itsura niya. Maganda rin yung kanyang mister, but it's not the best that I have come across. May mas maganda pa than this one, in my opinion. I'm not so sure kasi if yung mister ng 30ml is the same as the 100ml. No? I don't have the 100ml sa aking possession, so I can't really say. Um, let me know na lang down below if you have both and may na notice pa kayong difference. It does what it says. It does what it says, don't get me wrong. The reason why it's not up there or parang hindi niya na beat ito. It's because of its price point. This one is priced at 400 pesos for 30 ml of product. It costs twice as much as this one. And for me, for my needs, kasi happy na ako with the results that this one gives. So ayon. For me, I think it's a good option. So, oh my god, you guys, that is it. Tapos na tayo. Drink some water, but just sore na yung aking throat. Sa kaka talk and talk and talk. I've been talking for two hours now and even more. Which one of these ones did you expect that I would mention and which ones you didn't expect? That was a little exhausting but I'm so excited to just share my favorites. I don't really have monthly favorites because I have to to try ng makeup. So I really need to see long term. It's only after I review them that I really know that it's favorite. Siya. And these ones, are my favorites and top picks and honorable mentions fine but yeah that's it thank you so much for watching this until the very end please do join my giveaway this really is for you it's been a wild ride and thank you so much for supporting me all throughout the years i really really appreciate it thank you so much i love you guys and i'll see you next time Bye bye